Hello everyone, this is Seth from Cloudy Sky Today on YouTube. In the past, I've talked about cybersecurity scams. We have talked about phishing scams where you just get an email that is sent to you and they try to direct you to some website. We've talked about phishing, which is voice plus phishing or telephone scams where they try to direct you to call one of these call, fake call centers where they try to steal your information. Today, I am here to talk to you about smishing. Smishing, S-M-I-S-H-I-N-G. That is where they send you a text message, an SMS text message, and try to fish, get information from you. So here's an example of that. I got this one recently, and this is what got me interested in it. It came into my text message, and I was like, well, I don't have a package from the United States Postal Service that I'm expecting. Why am I getting this message? So one of the first things I did was look on the phone number and I did a reverse number phone look up. As you can see, it came back to a Houston, Texas number, but it doesn't say what the business is. And the question was, well, why would a UPS call me from Houston? I mean, we have post offices right here in Florida. so. I use a phone number of the post office that's nearby to me. And if you look on this, you can see that when you put the phone number, it comes up with the name US Postal Service. Whereas if you go back to the fake one, it doesn't come up with a name. Registered business's name will come up when you do the reverse phone number. And if you look on the rest of the matches, it says US Post Office. So this is one way if you get a text and you're not sure, well, I'm not sure if I'm expecting a package, that you can look it up to see if before, you know, going in further with the answering the text message or anything, you look it up. I also tried to just search the phone number, but that resulted in nothing. But I decided to search USPS cam text, text, you know, for SMS. And that did come up with this article, very good article. Because in this article, one of the key sentences that was there, and this is from the Postal Service US Inspection Inspector General. They're the ones who regulate the post office and you know enforce certain things. And one of the best sentences in that is the USPS will not send customers text messages or emails with a cust without a customer first requesting the service with a tracking number. And it will not contain a link. So if you did not initiate the tracking request, um, you know, and they would send it more than likely from my recollection when I have requested tracking requests, they send you the tracking number, and then you go on the regular USPS site and put the tracking number in. Similarly with you know FedEx and UPS. This page also had some other good tips, tips that you can protect yourself from submission. And you know, think about it. It's not just the postal service. We've seen news report of fake emails coming from eBay, fake emails coming from Amazon. I think even earlier this year I got a fake text and I was like, well, I know I didn't order anything this time, so I'm not clicking on the link. But some very good tips, you know, verify the identity of the sender and take the time to ask yourself, well, why would the sender be asking you for information? In this case, you know, when you, you saw I did a reverse phone lookup, I verified, hey, this is not from the postal service or whatever business it is that you normally do business with that you, that is purportedly sending you that text. Important, 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 don't reply. Even sometimes when you get text messages that seems like, oh, your order, blah, 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 you know, you didn't order anything. Sometimes replying will let them know that this is a valid phone number. And then they will sell your phone number to other scammers. So it's best not to reply. And these tips that they have on this page, let's see here. 
Yeah, these tips right here. Protect yourself from smushing. Are very good tips that not just apply to the postal service, but also to any other national brands or any other businesses, you know, that you do online businesses and you're expecting packages. Because a lot of us at home, and let's be honest, we like to order stuff and get it at home and you get the packages. So here's another thing that I did. You know, I did, I do have a Raspberry Pi. So this link right here, this HTTP UTO, that's L-A-R. Now normally, don't click on the link. But what I did was retype it into this Raspberry Pi I had set up. Now I'm going to switch because I did it on a different day. And you'll take a look at it. I opened Chromium on my Raspberry Pi. I have nothing of importance on here. And I'm going to try the link just to see where it takes us. I know hopefully it doesn't download any malware. And even if it does, at least I'm on my Raspberry Pi and I can wipe it or re-image it. So it's HTTP. I think this is a UTO dot L A and they have a shortened link here, but we're gonna try and R Y R F W. Okay, let's see where it takes us. It takes us to USPS verification dot net. Um according to this the server's IP address could not be found. And if you look, it blocked it. But at least now I got the, you know, what they were calling it. And anything from United States Postal Service, USPS, will have a .gov, not a .net on its domain. But because on my phone I can't hover over, that's the only reason why I attempted to look at the site using Chromium on a Raspberry Pi. Okay, as you see, that came back as um, US, you know, something, something dot net. I also tried it again just to see what would happen on the Raspberry Pi, and next time it came up 404. One of the reasons why is that I'm not clicking on the link on the phone, I'm typing it into something else. And yes, it's a shortened link that got expanded. But also, they probably know that I'm doing it in a sandbox environment, so they're not getting any data. So, or the, the, you know, ISP could have taken it down when they realized that these people are running scams. So, you know, there's a couple of possibility why, you know, I'm not seeing what's going on behind the scenes. But yes, I did try on a notice on a device that has no personal information on it. Because it was a recently set up Raspberry Pi where I was just trying out different things on the Pi all for educational purposes. And then finally, just to share with you, if you do get the Postal Service one, so you can see the difference. This is the Postal Service is actually .com. The Postal Inspection thing is .gov. So those two are good. And then of course, the one that I found from that link, the shortened link when you expanded it, showed up USPSVerification.net. So that was the fake one. So if you like my content, I ask you to like and also subscribe. And I'll try to come back with some more cybersecurity tips. Thank you.